Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a great week so far. If you're new here, my name is Aaliyah and this is my channel. I post all things lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and it's a really good community and fun channel over here so make sure to subscribe if you're new so for this week's youtube video i thought i would do a little spring slash summer fashion trends 2023 and kind of go through my favorite personal fashion trends of this year um ones that i've seen like on tiktok on social media um pinterest things like that that i'm obsessed with um, and then some that i'm not so obsessed with um and i thought i'd just share my thoughts on ones that I'll be getting myself, like the items of clothing I'll be wearing and the different looks that I think are so cute. And then also the ones that don't really float my bow and I'm not really a fan of. Um, and just thought I'd go through them all with you. Maybe if you didn't know what the trends are this year, maybe you could see which ones you like, which ones you don't like. Um, most of them are pretty obvious. I feel like most girls are wearing them at the minute and are very popular on social media and things and in the shops. Um, but I thought I'd just come on and share the ones that I've seen so far that I'm obsessed with and I'm loving. So if you want to see the current fashion trends of 2023 spring summer then make sure to keep on watching. So moving straight into it the first fashion trend that I've been loving so far and I've even purchased myself the past few weeks. I've bought two pairs which is a bit OTT but I'm not obsessed I had to get some um, and it's quite a I don't know, quite a retro kind of fashion trend, which I'm really obsessed with that it's come back in. And it is cowboy boots. And I'm sorry, but I'm just obsessed with them. With any outfit going out on the evening, day drinks, day outfits, festival vibes, anything like that. I just think they're such a cool, like, statement shoe. And personally for me, I will be wearing them all spring and summer. Um, I've bought two pairs currently. So I've got a pair from Sheen, which are a black pair. I'll see if I can do a picture here of them. Um, but like a midi kind of boo and they're black with like some detailing on there. And then I've also got these tan ones, which are also the same print and the same length, but just in a different colour. I'm really obsessed with the whole look of the cowboy boots. I think they're so flattering and really giving cool, chic, retro vibe. You can get them from so many different places, like Sheen, ASOS. ASOS have got a really good pair from Stradivarius, actually. They're like a black pair um, and they are out of stock constantly, so they're so popular. Um, you can get them from Pre-LT. You can get them from boohoo pretty much anywhere they sell them um i've also seen the trend of like the silver metallic cowboy boots for like festivals and i'm also loving that too so yeah i feel like the trend of cowboy boots biker boots is really in at the minute and i've seen so many girls wearing them to coachella all these different festivals holidays dinner and drinks I just think they're such a cool statement shoe and i think they go so nice with any outfit you can dress them up dress them down and i think they just make you look so put together and edgy is edgy the word i don't know but i just personally love them the next trend that i'm really obsessed with is denim Denim is coming in in all of the shops. Every shop I go into, especially Zara, they have so much denim there. It is a joke. Um, and especially on like PLT, ASOS, all the websites. Um, and I feel like you just see so many girls wearing denim, like denim corsets, denim skirts, denim jeans, denim jackets, literally everything. And people are doing double denim as well, which is kind of like 80s, 90s vibes, which I'm loving and I'm definitely here for. I feel like it looks so cool, so chic and really put together, but it's not really doing much. Um, so yeah, I really love denim at the minute and definitely Zara is coming through with all the denim pieces I feel like their denim corsets and denim tops denim dresses I'm just obsessed with them and I think they look so cool Yeah, so denim for me is just definitely a really good trend that I've loved seeing I used to wear double denim like a couple years ago and people used to say to me like what are you wearing that for but I think it looks so cool and Especially when it's matching the same color denim. I'm not really a fan of the mismatch colours, say if it's like a dark jacket and a light pair of jeans, I'm more into like the matching, but yeah, I love the dark denim too, I think that's really cool, um, but yeah, all things denim I'm obsessed with, and Zara for me is really pulling through with that, and giving us all the best pieces. Another fashion trend that I've been seeing everywhere, which I'm not so like obsessed with, is ballet flats, I don't know, for me they're just... I'm not very girly, is in like in my fashion sense. So ballet flats for me just aren't a vibe. I feel like some girls look really nice with them, like Matilda Jerf. She is I say I'm not sure. Matilda Jerf, I think. Um, like she looks so cool with them, but personally for me, I just wouldn't wear them. Like I've seen the Chanel ones and things, and I just wouldn't pay that much money for a pair of shoes. Like I feel like they just look like ballerina shoes, and I prefer more of a chunky shoe or more of like a 
I don't know, I'm not really into the girly kind of side of fashion and I feel like that is really girly and chic um, and it's not a bit of me but I'm sure you guys probably like it and are wearing them but for me it's just not really my style um, but yeah I feel like I've seen so many people wearing them recently especially when I'm scrolling like on Pinterest and things there is a lot of girls in them with like denim jeans, a tweed jacket um, denim, just pretty much anything really they've got the ballet flats on which is cool but personally I would not wear them um, but yeah I suppose it's personal preference so you could wear whatever you want with them and they would still look cool but I would not wear them the next thing that is a current fashion trend that I've been seeing everywhere and been loving is metallic trousers. So metallic trousers for me are more like glitzy glam. You wear them like to New Year's Eve on a night out. But people have been wearing them dressed down and like on days out, ever and running, pretty much any occasion. And I'm here for that. I think it's so cool. Like with the big baggy oversized tee, silver trousers, chunky boots. I just think it's really like, I don't know, just a different look. But I'm obsessed with it. And I love how people are styling like going out outfits with like a day to day outfit and mixing them together. I think it's a really nice transition. I've seen a lot of metallic trousers, especially the Zara ones that are going around everywhere that are viral. I actually went in there last week to try them on and personally for me, they look so nice but the fit of them just wasn't there. Like it just wasn't, I got a size 10 and I'm like a size 6 to 8 and they just would not do up. Um, which is really weird so yeah I didn't like the ones from Zara but I have actually got a pair which are from PLT and they are like my every not my everyday trousers but like if I was going out I'd wear them with like a black blazer black top and um, black heels and they look so cool um especially with like a little silver bag to match but yeah the silver trousers are definitely a hit for me I love them I think they're so nice and yeah I'm really here for the going out outfits into day outfits so if you haven't got a pair of silver trousers I'd definitely get a pair because I think PLT and Zara do quite a few different colours as well so like a dark silver a light silver um, and they are really cool and are definitely a statement trouser but moving swiftly on we are going into accessory as well we're still in clothes but like this is an accessory that I'm going to talk about um, and they are the like flower chokers. I've seen these on a few people like Molly McFarlane and um, quite a few girls on Pinterest as well. And who else have I seen them on? Matilda Jerf. I've seen them on a few people. And at first I was a bit like, mm, I don't know, like I wasn't really a fan. I thought they were a bit weird, especially with like a pair of jeans and a top. I just thought what's, it's just a bit of a statement accessory, isn't it? But like now I feel like I'm like slowly moving towards them and thinking of like getting one um i don't know if i will but i don't know i feel like i'm gravitating towards them and i think they are really cool and um, especially for like a good big accessory if you've got like a quite a simple outfit on and you want to dress it up a bit i feel like it does look really cool and um, so yeah i feel like i am loving them kind of and i've seen a few like on sheen there was like a dress like an all red dress with like a choker to match and it was really nice like a valentine's vibe so yeah i really am here for the chokers but i don't know what do you guys think give me your opinions and let me know what you think about them because i am a fan but i wasn't at the start i feel like i would like to try one on see what it looked like on me i don't know i've got quite a long neck though so i don't know whether it's a bit much and kind of points my neck out but i do think they are a vibe and are quite a classy accessory um especially for like a simple plain outfit it really does dress it up make it look 10 times better so yeah i would say i'm here for the rose slash flower chokers the next trend that i'm loving is the tailoring like the big oversized blazers the matching trousers and then the waistcoats oh my god i'm obsessed with like the waistcoat style when they've got like a little waistcoat on a pair of jeans pair of heels or boots cowboy boots i just think it looks so cool and the waistcoat for me is just definitely a good trend that i'm glad to see I feel like so many girls are wearing them nowadays and they're selling them in so many shops and I do have one in like a black colour um, and I do think it's a really nice little outfit to go on a night out or something. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit of a different item of clothing that you wouldn't see that many people wearing. Um, I feel like it is quite edgy as well and I don't know, I do like to be a bit edgy sometimes. So yeah, I do really like the waistcoat trend and the tailoring kind of look. I think it is really cool and quite sophisticated and quite manly but... I'm really here for like the women's style turning into that. I think it looks so nice. Um, so yeah, tailoring for me is definitely a hit and I am obsessed with it. The next trend, which I'm sure all of you have definitely seen and been jumping straight onto, is the headbands. You guys know what I mean with the headbands. I will insert a picture here, but 
these headbands are just like insane so many people and girls are wearing them at the minute and i'm so here for it they're such a good like alternative if you've got greasy hair and you don't want to like slick it back yet like for me for example like the past few days i've been wearing a headband and then i've just slicked it back so it's just kind of like a different alternative kind of hairstyle if you don't want to go from like down straight to a sleek bun and um, because obviously you have to put all the gel in it and stuff so it's just a nice little way to slab your hair down but also look cute with like a little headband in and i really love it guys so yeah you can get these from like primark h&m sheen you can get like packs of like 20 different colors which is so good um because then you've got one to go with every single outfit i think they're really good accessories for hair when it gets a bit greasier and just to make your outfit look a bit more different and kind of give like the sport looks kind of vibe as well which i love um it's so, like a little headband with like a white black headband big oversized gray hoodie black leggings new balance it's a basic look but it still is put together and cute so yeah i'm not complaining but i feel like every girl is wearing one of these headbands right now and i love it i think it's so good that everyone is like hopping on the same trend as each other and like kind of realizing that it doesn't matter whether you all wear the same thing like and it's more of like a practical thing i think as well the headbands because as i said with hair washing and things it just makes you have a different hairstyle but still look cute and have your hair down when it's greasy so for me it's definitely a good thing so yeah definitely get yourself some headbands if you want to keep your hair down still but it'd be greasy and still look cute next we're moving on to denim maxi skirts which i'm sure you've all seen everywhere pinterest all these girls wearing them I've seen so many different girls. I feel like it's a bit of a different style, like, to what some girls would wear. Some girls are more, like, tracksuits, like, little dresses, um, leggings, jeans. And then there's, like, the more edgy style with maxi skirts, cargo skirts, cargos. I feel like they are too... I feel like it's more streetwear. The maxi skirts, for me, I would purchase one. I don't yet have one, but I feel like I definitely need to try one on in store first before I bought one. Because, I don't know, I do like them, but I just don't know whether I look a bit like an idiot. I feel like you need to try them on to see. Um, but I've seen so many cool girls wearing them, and I'm really, like, here for it. And I'm loving the long maxi skirt with, like, a cowboy boo, a little crop top, um, a little bag. I think it looks so nice. And, yeah, it's just really different. It's quite 90s vibes, and I really love it. Yeah, I'm really here for the denim maxi skirts. I've also seen, like, the silk maxi skirts are coming back in with, like, a pair of trainers, a little crop top, um, which is also different. But I feel like all these new styles coming in are making sense and do look really good. So, yeah, I feel like the denim maxi skirt is definitely a hit from me, and I do really love it. So I am going to have to go and look and see if I can find one because... I've not yet found one in the store, so I'm pretty sure you can get them from PLT, Primark, Zara, but I've just not seen any personally, so yeah, I feel like once I do see one, I will have to try one on, and I will let you guys know my opinion on them, but if you guys have one and wear it, like, on the daily, let me know what you think, and let me know your opinions on how you'd wear it, or how you'd style it, and yeah, just let me know, guys. The next thing I'm going to talk about is tweed jackets. So, personally, I'm not a fan I'm really not a fan of tweed. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's... I just don't like the material of it. I just feel like it looks a bit cheap sometimes unless it is more of a pricey one. I just don't like the style of them, um, personally. But I feel like other girls do make them look really good. I'm not dissing tweed jackets at all. If you love a tweed jacket, then that is perfectly fine. But personally, my style, I just don't think that I would suit one. Um, I've tried one on before and it just wasn't cute on me so yeah I definitely would not wear one of those but I've seen plenty of girls wearing them with like the little ballet flats, a pair of jeans, a pair of big oversized trousers um, and they do look cute on certain girls but me personally I just wouldn't wear them um, and I feel like they could be quite expensive as well but it just depends which one you get like you could get like a Chanel tweed jacket and it'd probably look really good because of the name but yeah for me I just wouldn't get one and that's just my own opinion. I just feel like they're quite cheap looking. I don't know if it's the ones that I've seen that look cheap, but I just don't vibe with them personally. The last topic and trend we're going to be talking about is a gazelle trainer, which are the Adidas, I think they're Adidas, um, like kind of retro trainers. Um, I feel like I've seen so many girls reaching out to get these for like a new pair of trainer that they're getting. And yeah i just feel like everyone is buying them at the minute and i feel like the chunky trainer that everyone used to love has kind of gone out the door which i'm really sad about because i love a big chunky kind of ugly trainer um which i feel like is what people refer them as and i don't know i feel like they're really cool but 
yeah i feel like they've been in trend for so long now i feel like it is time for a more updated softer looking more classy trainer and i do think the gazelles are quite a retro good trainer to move to but yeah i feel like i like the black and white ones if you've seen them i'll try and insert a pic here of them um i've seen like sophia tuxford wearing them people on pinterest and yeah i do think they're cool but i feel like it's kind of a shoe that i'll have to get used to and yeah, I think I'm sticking to the Chungi trainer for a while and then maybe I might move, I'm not sure. But yeah, I feel like I would have to try a pair on with a cute outfit, see what it looks like, see if I suit them. Um, but yeah, I do think they're cool trainers, but it's just a weird jump to go from like a big, fat, chunky trainer to more of a soft, no platform um, kind of vibe. But yeah, I'm definitely here for the new updated trainer fashion trend because I feel like the Chungi trainer has been top place for a while so it is nice to see a different one coming in so that is all the trends spoken about discussed and reviewed i'm so glad with like all the new trends that have come in i feel like i am here for all of them and the ones that i've said i'm not really a fan of is just my personal style like i still love them but i just wouldn't wear them myself um, but yeah, I'm so here for all the new 2023 spring summer fashion trends. I think they're so cool. So like 80s, 90s vibe. And yeah, I feel like they've really come back in fashion, which I really love to see in like the fashion industry. So yeah, I'm really here for all of the new summer spring fashion trends and like the accessories, the trainers, the clothes. I just think they're all so cool at the minute and I'm definitely here and vibing with them. But I'm going to round up this video here, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed watching and got some inspiration of some of the trends that you want to see, some trends that you maybe didn't know were in fashion at the minute, um, maybe some ideas of new pieces of clothing, accessories, shoes, things like that that you want to see, you want to buy. Um, yeah, I feel like for me, I've definitely come along some on Pinterest that I definitely want to purchase or try on. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys got some inspo of some summer, spring fashion items that you could be wearing this summer um and yeah got some good ideas but anyways i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and let me know your thoughts on the fashion trends this year and i will see you in my next video